Now, the Airbus A380 is the biggest passenger airplane we ever built. Yes, an entire town can sit inside of this airplane. The airline we're flying right now was actually able to put the most passengers into this plane. 615 right here. Yes, here is a whole Wikipedia article on the seat configurations of the Airbus A380. <laughs> And France, 500, 500, okay. British Airways really going low there, 469 people. Now I don't even get started on Korean Air, who only fits 399 people instead of the Airbus A380. Yes, a little village can fit in this airplane, especially if you do something that's never done before, and that is completely max out the passenger capacity. In theory, this airplane could house 840 people. That's what legally the A380 is able to do. I think Aero Strau had that as a plan, but they ditched it obviously in 2013, long time ago. 840 people could sit in the A380 if you were to ditch the premium class here. No need for business. And if you go upstairs, who needs first class suites, right? If you put economy class on this airplane, you could fit an entire village, perhaps a nearby village, you know, from this airport, maybe the little village of La Punt right here, which has a population of 680. But to be honest, I think this is there is a benchmark that is missing here, and that is a thousand people. Yes, the A380 sure isn't able to car carry the people of Silva Plana. They have a population of roughly a thousand people. No way you could fit a thousand people in A380. I Unless you did some extension work, right? And that is exactly what I did, everybody. I turned the Airbus A380-800 into an A380-900. Everybody, can you see how much bigger the A380 is now? We're now in the X-Plane Flight Simulator. And I've extended the A380's fuselage by 30 feet. 9 meters. And you can I, I, you know, I'm trying to show the livery here, just so that we have a bit of an idea how much longer this airplane really is. And this part is new right here. I'm showing with a mouse cursor. And this part is new as well. I'm showing with a mouse cursor. This is now a very much longer A380. For some reason though, doesn't look like that more impressively or unrealistically long to be honest. But let's go ahead and do some window counting. In the lower deck of the A380, we can count 10 seats per window in an economy class. So that is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 30, 31, 32, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 68, 67, 69, 70. 700 people in the lower deck. In the upper deck, we can count eight people per window. 1, 2, 3, 4, 34, 35, 51, 52, 53. You bring those numbers together, we have got a 1,120 seater airliner. Now we do have to talk about weight limitations there. We have, of course, made this airplane a lot heavier. Our empty weight alone now is 300 tons. And fully putting, like, we can't even, okay, okay, legally, we're probably not even allowed to put in as many passengers as we'd like here in this chat. All right. And we probably destroyed range. I mean, we have the same fuel tank. With a lot heavier of an airplane, this airplane probably will be able to do short routes. I mean, it is um, a good idea to doubt that this airplane would ever make sense, which is probably why it doesn't exist. I mean, airlines are struggling to completely fill up their A380s anyway. There are very little routes that actually could fit a thousand people. Also, we all know the airline's secret. Airlines really only make money with first class and business class. That's the economy. There are some people who even say that, you know, airlines are just kind of being nice by offering economy class tickets. They don't really make money off of them compared to the first class, you know? So here we are in the cockpit, which uh, looks semi all right. I mean, at least it, it works still. It's just slightly in front, but it's funny. I mean, we've made so many, you know, changes to aircraft here on the channel. And this is like the first one that actually looks quite normal. It's just a little bit longer. If we weren't to have this crazy livery, M Emirates or Emery Testis, we wouldn't even notice. It just looks slightly larger. Let's take a look now. Oh God, take off now for power. Now, once again, um, we have a lot more weight with a lot more people and also a lot more fuselage here. So these engines aren't really up to power now. That might be trouble. Also, I don't want to think about how long it takes to board a thousand people. This airliner definitely does not make sense at all, and we're not able to take off. We're just going to crash into this bridge. And... Ah! Actually, we are able to fly, which is quite surprising. Just not for very long. I mean, first of all, by the way, we are running this airplane at toga power. Full power on those four engines. And we're still able to barely climb. As you know, in real life, 
planes barely use full power on the jet engine, you know, just to preserve them. Um, here, there wouldn't be much of preservation. You would probably even have to fit like four GE90 engines on this thing. So this, I mean, while this is an interesting idea to put a thousand plus people in this airplane, it just is probably one of the worst ideas ever. I mean, I've just kind of, I've completely debased the whole concept now. Look, Toga Takeoff, we're able to climb at 500 feet per minute. This airplane, we've turned it into a flying brick, which is great. But I would love to go on emirates.com.emirates.com. Sadly, though, we do not have a cabin or anything that we can look through. I don't have the modeling skills to imagine what it's like to have a thousand passenger economy class cabin. But here we go. At least the airplane somewhat flies, so you could do a world record. Now, one big problem about our payload also is that probably the landing gear won't be very happy with it. I mean, we all know the maximum landing weight of airplanes, which is a lot lower than maximum takeoff weight because, you know, an airplane is expected to lose fuel while flying. And while we do lose a lot of fuel, we're still going to be very heavy at the end of our flight because, well, none of the passengers have been thrown. We can, we can make them, like, jump off. So what we have here is a very poorly designed airplane now. We've done the equivalent to trying to build the tallest skyscraper in the world by just putting another tower on the Burj Khalifa. It might stand, but not for a while. Like, even on approach, these engines need to give in a lot of power. The fuel flow is absolutely crazy. This thing just eats fuel. I don't even know if we can make it across the ocean. And also, we haven't really made any changes to the wings at all. Um, and so this airplane really flies a lot worse now. Because it is so heavy now, it really handles like uh, a brick. Like, you can't be able to tell, but, like, this uh, isn't a very nicely flying airplane. Landing it might be scary. Let's come in here at Nice Airport. Nice Airport is the place where this plane flies to in real life. The Airbus A380-800. Not the 900, but all right. It's now time to do some testing here. Oh, wow. At lower speed, this airplane sucks to fly even more. We're now at, what, at 170 knots? It's funny because this airplane has reached such a large state that it looks slow, although we are fast. By the way, welcome aboard Korean Air Air. Or Korean Air. That's the way to go. Pepsi. Come on, let's try to do it. Wow. Especially like the vertical control is crazy bad. And look at the flight directors being visibly confused. This airplane has very low stability, really, vertically. So yes, in order to, you know, make the Airbus A380-900, you'd have to make the wings bigger, perhaps the engine, and also especially the landing gear. Uh, once again, we're landing at a weight that would be way too heavy for it. Let's come in for a landing now on the Airbus A380. You can do it. Have you flown here in real life? Ah, uh, you're fine. Stop complaining. You're okay, you're okay. Let's do a smooth land. Uh, I think we'll smooth now. Let's go and put out the reverse thrust here. We only have two of them active here. One per wing because the outer engines are hanging above grass. And you don't want them sucking any dirt. Look at this. Core Korean Air A380-900 has actually, uh, has actually stopped. That's not bad. But yes, you need full braking always on landings in order to stop properly. There we go. We've done it, though. It's funny how when I continue to fly this airplane, I can just think of more reason that this thing is completely stupid. Like, imagine a thousand people in an airplane. You've got quite a high amount of odds that someone might die and you might have lots of flight disruptions. Also, this airplane would not be able to fly in America. Weight restriction. Katatar, by the way. Let's be uh, Qatar. Ka huh. Let's do a landing. Oh, we're off runway. And that's think the rate. biggest. We are. This, I hate. This plane flies really think badly. Rate. It's way think too. Rate. Like, you can. There's think like a palpable up. size difference, think really, here from the cockpit, even. Oh, like, I'm fully steering to the right. You can't really feel that. There's like a flying boat now. All right, emergency stop now. Time to do it. Reverse thrust out. Full power into the braking. And full debt. That's great. We've crashed into a vineyard. I mean, for an airplane, it can be stressed to carry 300 people. What about 1,000 people? Your odds of having some of the Burger King crown in there just will increase. So there you go, the Airbus A380-900. A380 is a dead project anyway. At its core, it's just too big to make sense. And so building a bigger version of the A380 makes less sense. That is the learning of today's video. Rest in peace, A380 indeed. The 900, absolutely one of the most stupid ideas I've ever had. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.